I'm gonna do this one because this was like I'm I'm really proud of how this match went. There's a lot of this like a uh, team like team strategy and I think it's the one where I play against Bacon and Chart actually where Blaze does some really impressive No, it might, it might be the Kyle the Kyle Big C one. But uh oops. But I don't know, we'll watch this and we'll let me go over some of the things that happen in this one here. Uh This is me and Blaze versus Edge and BDR. Um, I'm the lighter fox and Blaze is the green fox. It's funny actually because I've rewatched this a couple times and I notice that when I'm watching it as a spectator, I I can follow less of the game than when I than I play as a player. Like when I'm playing as a player, I actually see more of the screen, um, which is kind of strange to me. But I think it's like also kind of crucial as a team's player to be able to see that much of the screen. But when I'm watching here, like I'm following myself a whole lot more. And my focus is so much on myself. But we'll talk about a little bit about teams, the little things that I uh, pay attention to in teams and things that uh, are good and bad. But uh, before we did this match, we had some downtime. I actually took Bla uh, Blaze aside. I actually pulled him away from Edge. Um, yeah, I think I pulled him away from... Edge was nearby, and I, and I like pulled him away just so we could talk strategy. I'm like, okay, this is how you beat Edge in teams. Um, and basically, and I've, I did this with uh, Chard as well, actually. Um, it was me and Chard versus Edge in the mole at uh, one of the JPEGs. I'm like, okay, this is how you beat Edge in teams. Is you get him like 30%, and then he doesn't matter to you anymore. You, you hit him away and you ignore him. You just double team the other guy the entire set. Because Edge just has a tendency to team with fast followers anyway. And there's another, I don't know if Edge teamed with Chard one time. And I can't remember who my teammate was. I f Edge team was someone else one time, and I don't even think it was a fast faller. And we just use the same strategy, and it just works because Jigglypuff can't um, can't do that much um, when she is pushed away. She doesn't have the greatest approaches, and Fox back air shuts a lot of that down. Um, so that was basically the strategy. I told him that, and like, it's hard to make sure you're always doing that. But I'll point out some of the instances where we're like really actively like following that strategy. Um, and you'll notice as the stocks deplete um, how many people are dying first and how it's happening. Um, let's see, uh, red team playing pretty good at the start of this. I'm trying to help uh, Blaze get back on, but BDR kind of outplays me on my approach. BDR basically killed himself to do it, but so did Edge, I think. Oh, no, he didn't. Jigglypuff's recovery is really good. Uh, then Edge does kill himself. Um, so right there, one thing I do, and there's different ways to do it, but because of how I was positioned, I only had one option. Um, BDR got the up throw, and for, um, for him, it's basically that up throw is a guaranteed up smash, but... Um, Basically, I'm trying to stop him from putting on damage. So I'm just going to throw the back air and hit them both so that uh, he can't do that. Unfortunately, his percentage is less so that um, Blaze is still kind of in trouble. But he kind, of, he kind of gets on okay, then he just kind of gets outplayed by BDR and ends up off the stage. What happened there? Yeah, I'm not, I'm not able to save. I, I can't cover both of them, and then Blaze doesn't manage to drift close enough on the stage. But see, a lot of times what I'm doing is I'm just trying to separate uh, BDR and Edge. Honestly, I prefer to play bo uh, point, um, especially against a uh, floaty fast faller matchup. Um, but um, Blaze is pretty aggressive. No, <laughs> I don't know what happened to BDR. That actually like pretty much cost them the game, though. Because I think I shined him on my way back up. So I don't want the edge guard and where, how does he get hit? Okay, he hits his teammate. So right there, he gets too aggressive on Blaze and I'm still coming back in. So I get the Nair, Blaze comes back up and lands on the stage and gets the, uh, gets the shine on BDR's panic double jump, okay. Well, that Blaze actually kind of got a little bit over aggressive there. At first, I thought that was me, um, 
but right here, Blaze commits too hard on edge, and I've told him a lot of times to do this, and actually, I think mid-game, I kind of had to stop and remind him, but right here, he kind of, this that he does against edge right here is not good. He does a crossing up attack onto uh, edge's shield, and when you have this position, um, even though I'm getting hit, um, Blaze, if he's pressuring Jigglypuff, he needs to pressure only this side um, of Jigglypuff's shield. But he does this, which pressures the entirety of Jigglypuff um, while I'm getting hit, so it pops me up. You don't want to uh, cross into your teammate's zone. Even though I was getting hit, if he just stayed on this side of Jigglypuff, I would have been fine to pressure on the other side or to push off BDR. Basically what it does is it prevents Edge from doing anything because the shield's being pressured and it lets me get my ground, but he pushed too hard and attack too deep on edge of shield. I do it a couple times too, I think, this set, but it's it's something important to practice. That time Blaze does a great job getting me back on stage though. So right here. I do this air dodge because I see Blaze coming in and like I know that BDR is not gonna be able to cover that. And then Blaze does a fantastic job of just covering it. And then BDR does a reactionary shine that actually helps me and then puts BDR in trouble. I can't really do much to, to help Blaze there because, uh, and actually BDR does some great one-on-one uh, -on -one to cover. But yeah, basically Blaze got hit off by Edge and then he, oh yeah, he got called out by Edge, got grabbed and thrown off. So I'm trying my best to cover for him. Um, I probably shouldn't have, I probably should have let him die because he's gonna die anyway and because I tried to cover for him, uh, I actually got beat up. There's no way that I was going to cover Jigglypuff's edge guard there. And I realized it too late. See, I try, I try, I'm like, oh crap, this is a bad idea. And then I reacted poorly because of it. See, I try to cover, I'm like, oh crap. And I do this crappy uh, air dodge because I just need to get away from this whole situation. But BDR is good about covering and gets a dash attack up smash. But notice, if you look at the stocks, who's super dead? BDR is super dead right now. He only has one stock. It's not too big of a lead. The thing is, like, uh, like I said, I told, uh, like I told Blaze uh, at, at some point during this, where I actually lean for, uh, lean forward, and you see me talking to Blaze, where I say, like, remember the strategy because, like, I don't care. The edge is at ninety-seven percent. Um, he's killable, but I don't care about killing him um, because if we kill BDR now, it essentially kills Edge too, um, in like multiple ways. Both we get a one on one against Edge, and he has to uh, share stock against uh, share stock Edge too. So I tell him, and like, see, like, Blaze is doing a pretty good job about not committing at Edge. Um, he's just kind of playing this zone to force Edge out. Edge goes for a rest because he really needed it, and it gives me a free kill on him. Um, that's the other thing I said, like, okay, don't turn down free kills on Edge. If he gives you a kill, then take it, but don't uh, don't worry about it. Right there, we do the pass. And right there, this this entire time, I know that uh, Blaze is like on the edge guard position. So this entire time, all I'm doing, I don't care about like fighting edge. I just want edge not over here. Um, so right here, I, all, I'm, all I'm doing is just spacing against edge for him not to be able to uh, come over this way. And then if BDR cuts too close, I'm still there to cover. So basically, I'm just keeping Edge away from the, that fight. Still in uh, some trouble because Blaze is on his last stock on 100%, but I'm not hurt too badly. Could be in trouble, but... Blaze needed to rush in faster there. Um, it's kind of a hard habit because you want to dash dance against other foxes, but in this position, like clearly they're edge guarding me, so Blaze needed to go from here straight to me, but he dash danced. Um, it all, it all ends okay. And actually right there, I, I think he did like shine jab and it hit edge. And I just reacted to him like, okay, if uh, Jigglypuff wants to die, then cool. Oh yeah, he does a jab and I'm just like prepped because edge is like sandwiched in at like kill percent. Right there. Because they're sandwiched, like up smash is gonna be like really high probability to do something very useful. Either it's gonna pop up BDR and let Blaze can combo him or it's going to kill Edge. And I think it, okay, it just kills Edge. Um, but now we're in like a, such a great position. BDR, who's like shared stock now, only has one and we're, um, I have one to spare and everything. 
So we just do some team combos, team positioning. Uh, that was a terrible back air from BDR. That was like he. That was like I don't want to win this game back air. Look at how bad this back air is. Terrible. Why would you do that? Um, it's like he stopped playing two versus one um, with a, that back air. Um, you can't ignore. You can't ignore that there's two players on the screen. He's like, yeah. He's like, okay, I don't want to win the game. And he's out. And it's like free. Up until then, he was doing it fine. He was playing the two versus one pretty well. The thing is, we were putting on enough pressure on him that he couldn't do a kill move. Um, he could only do back airs, and even though Blaze didn't get great DI on that, there's he was too close to me to do anything. And then, like I said, he just throws the game with that back air. That's what you want to do in the two versus ones, especially if you have double fast faller. But in general, is uh, you want to box them in. You want to like have the enemy character, and you have to have you want to put both members of your team on the opposite sides, and you want to always stay on the opposite sides, close enough that you continue to interfere with whatever they try to do, both like to your teammate or to you. You want to always be able to pressure them. Stage did they go to? Did they go to Pokemon Stadium? No, they go to Dreamland. Um, so I actually told Blaze too. I'm like, okay, so the trick here is Dreamland actually um, is super counterproductive because of the same exact strategy I talked about earlier. Dreamland basically makes it even easier to ignore Edge, to ignore Jigglypuff. So um, uh, now even more so, the stage is, is giant. Even though Jigglypuff survives so much. Fox dies all the time, so we're double teaming Fox. Our entire goal is to make BDR's life miserable, while Edge is like helpless, basically. <clears throat> and you'll notice, like, we'll, we'll keep trying to reposition here. Like, as soon as, uh, as soon as like there's a split, we uh, we just wall off Edge, and then I'm always like going back to uh, cover BDR again, and then he slips off stage. Just because, like, he's not allowed to do anything. Like, every time he tries to do something, uh, the other one of us hits him. That was kind of a flub on his part. He was, like, faced the wrong direction. Um, Blaze got a little too over-eager because of the way that this happened. Um, that was really risky to go on in on edge. I respect that he tried to, but... Invincible Fox just spawned right above him. So yeah, uh, like in that position It would have been better for him to just go to the other side and be defensive and let the Fox invincibility run out Edge getting his ass kicked by every single Fox on the screen it looked like one There you go two. Yep. Every single Fox manages to hit him Good good play from BDR. He managed to put out enough hitboxes that he uh, pushed me away blaze with a great pickup on edge I said when the uh, when the kills are free, then definitely take them. And yeah, that was uh, that was good from uh, <laughs> and it was BDR's fault too. It was BDR's fault. What did he do? He like forward tilted him. Oh, he nared him. I don't know why he did that nair. Why would you do that? Why would you do that? <laughs> he killed his teammate. And then, yeah, Blaze saw it. It's like, okay, thanks for the pass. Good assist, brother. There, he is. there it is again. BDR can't do those like, big extended up air, up smash combos um, that he keeps trying for because uh, whenever he hits one of us, the other one is there to cover. And Jared's you know, calling it out. And he's like, I feel bad for Edge. He's like, yeah, because we're not letting him participate, basically. I'm trying to do some wild shit to like help my teammate and doesn't quite help uh doesn't quite work out. Uh oh, that's trouble. Yeah. Blaze getting uh over eager. No reason to extend that high. I think I actually um 
Yeah, actually, um, here you can t you see me actually physically telling him. Uh, let me turn that and that off. Right here, after he extends like that, you can. Yeah, I'm like right there. I'm talking to him and actually saying, um, "You don't need to do that. We're we're perfectly fine. Um, so like, don't don't worry about it." I'm trying to be even more like proactive and like communicating during teams because like after watching really good teams communicate, I'm like, oh wow, we're not we're not even using the most basic of of like teams you know teams gameplay. So I'm trying to bring that out more um, more recently. And Blaze is very good about uh, listening to it and keeping receptive for everything uh, for like strategies and stuff. right there um basically it goes bad and then it goes good because like i have to like make up for accidentally shining my teammate so right there right there so right here oh i shine i shine because i think it's going to shine him through edge but edge manages to get an attack right on time because i'm like why would i why would i shine him but right there i'm doing the drill and expecting to shine bdr and i think i do Ew. Right there. Do I? No, I miss BDR. But because Edge lands that attack right on time, it puts Blaze in a bad position. So now I'm super worried. So my strategy then is to get BDR the heck away so that my teammate can back, get back on stage. It actually, that's exactly what happens. And BDR yet again on his last stock before everyone else. Right there, Edge kind of walled out Blaze. Blaze should have just full hopped over him and just said, see you later, sucker. But see, yet again, it's those little moments, those little moments where you just ignore the Jigglypuff that uh, that net so much damage. So right here, I'm just keeping him out. Back air, back air. BDR already bleeding to death at 100% and eats like a fully charged up smash. Right there, no reason to overcommit on edge. I'd rather just keep uh, putting pressure on BDR. Yeah, and a lot of that actually, Blaze still kind of uh, focusing too much on edge. A lot of these times, he should just like, jump over edge. For the most part, he's doing a great job about it. But like right here, he keeps trying to fight edge. Like I'm saying, don't, don't. He doesn't matter. Especially because like Edge is like the best player on the screen, so like it's better not to deal with the one on ones against him because he can kill Fox so quickly. No reason to do anything that commits on Jigglypuff. See, and again, that's what I'm doing is like I'm making it look like I care about Edge here, right here. Like I pressure him. But like I'm the the entire time I'm waiting for BDR, um, and he tries to do something and I just hit him. Right there, try to get the ledge. <laughs> Edge hands hands away his last stock and yeah, easy game, easy life. Uh, but yeah, that's basically I mean the strategy. It happens so fast and I mean pretty pretty fast pretty good set from me and blaze the other ones there's a lot more to analyze for especially because like we lose the other two um